Hello, everyone. Welcome. It's Catherine from CatherinePuller.com. I got to say it. <laughs> CatherinePuller.com. I got to say it. <laughs> oh, that's very exciting. It's very exciting. Welcome. Thanks for having me, Laurel. Yes. I have been looking forward to today. I have my red on in preparation for the holidays. I and put some I live in North Carolina. Short sleeves. Yeah. It's hot here. It's a little toasty. It's a little toasty. I'm not a fan. So we're so excited that you're here. We've got all kinds of people. There's 105 people on with us at the moment. We are streaming Welcome. on YouTube, possibly Facebook. Facebook is being a little bit of a butt, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> Get here, it together, Facebook. I know. I know. YouTube you want, is where it's at. How about that? YouTube is the jam. Yes. So we are going to get started with um, Catherine. She's going to be demoing some really cool stuff. But before we get into the nitty gritty, I see a couple of people have logged into the back end. Um, and if you could please refresh your schedule page and go to the right link. Um, that would be great. That's why I keep removing some people. I don't want you to think we're bumping you from Catherine or she's like, doesn't like you. That's totally not it. We just need to make sure you're logged into the same place. So go to stressfreecardmaking.com slash schedule and then click the watch Q and A and it's going to take you to YouTube. All right. All right, Catherine. All Let's right. I'm excited. So I have to clarify you. something before we get started. My face, is that going to be up on the YouTube the whole time? Um, hello, I'm going to make your, I'm going to show you, watch this people. Look, we see okay. our hand. That's going to be the I need to make sure like, I don't, you know, do anything inappropriate. <laughs> I mean, I can <laughs> remove your face if you'd like. It's fine. Um, Grandma, it's fine. I can remove both of our faces and just look at the screen for now. Oh, oh there you go. Okay. We had to refresh our YouTube. It was still showing the stress-free. Yeah. Okay. Am I ready? Yes, I think so. Okay. Hey, everyone. Catherine here. I'm so excited to get started to make a card for you for the holidays. I know your juices are flowing uh, and you guys are ready to roll. Uh, if you are new to our brand, welcome. We hope you will visit us over at shop.catherinepooler.com and see all the wonderful, fun products we have. And our blog, you can visit there too, as well as all of our social media channels. We have over a thousand videos on YouTube. I've been uh, creating videos since probably 2008. I have the blog, we have the Instagram, we've started posting on TikTok, and we have a very vibrant Facebook page. So hopefully you will catch us on all of those platforms. Uh, I decided today to use Peking Pets. This is a classic Catherine Pooler product. It has been in our shop for many years. Jenny is in charge of logistics and product inventory in our store. She's here with me today. Jenny, when did we put this in the shop? Do you remember? 2020? I think even before that, because that was COVID. It was. I think it was well before COVID. Anyway, a long yeah. time, y'all. And it is our top seller. So to this day, we cannot keep this product in stock. So I thought since many of you may have it, or if you don't, this is a great stamp set to start with. Uh, I would create a Christmas card for you. We loved this stamp set so much. We also created more peeking pets. So there's more puppies and kitties here on this stamp set. Um, do you guys have a favorite out of all of these? I think my favorites, this guy, this guy, I love him, although I use black, so you can't really see him very well. He kind of got blacked out a bit. If you like zoo animals, we have Take a Peek. And this one would be fun for a Christmas card because there's that, um, what is it? All I want for Christmas is a hippopotamus or something like that. Something like that what is yeah. that song, you guys? Leave a <laughs> note in the comments and get me straight. What is the song about the hippopotamus? And then this one, Critter Crew, would be really cute to use on a card like this as well. So keep these in mind while we're creating. And then we also have the Look Who's Talking sentiments that were created to go with all the pets. So what you doing? Meow's it going. You've cat to be kitten me. <laughs> Where's the potty? 
I've missed you. I woof you. Happy birthday. And then they're made to um, go with the animals. So I'm not using these today. I just wanted to show you alternate products that will work great with the card that I'm creating today. We are. Go ahead. I was going to say they're letting you know it's I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Thank you. <laughs> I'm starting with this die. This is a cover plate. What's it called? Mod, Mod strips. strips. Mod strips. Cover plate. So I've already die cut this. It cuts these fun strips in various widths to cover a card front. And we want to color them. So I want to choose the main holiday colors, which is rock and red in my opinion, is our kind of traditional Christmas color. Um, cranberry fizz feel is a little deeper and it works perfectly. But if you have our color wheel, guys, this is a free download in our shop. It shows you how all of our colors work together. It shows you for our reds, what the darkest, our medium and our lightest are. Come around here, let's look at the greens. We have Deck the Halls, Mardi Gras, in the park. For this project, I wanted to use green yellows. So I'm grabbing grass skirt, lime ricky, garden party. And then I wanted to use my darkest red. So cranberry fizz and rock and red. So if you go to shop.catherinepuller.com, you can download this for free. There's one for our party collection, which are our vibrant, vibrant, highly saturated colors. And then we have the spa color wheel. Dun, dun, dun. That is our muted collection of shades all around the color wheel. So we got it covered. Two sets of products um, or two sets of inks. I have a little My Sweet Petunia pad here. I just pulled this out and it's such a great, great for um, scratch paper. So I want to use my the inks to do direct to paper. And as I go through all of this, I'll talk to you about all of the benefits, features and benefits of our ink pads. And if you have Catherine Pooler ink pads, drop a comment in the chat here and let us know what your favorite features are. Oh, you're asking for CP inks for Christmas. I love it. So hopefully this will get you excited. So we have one, two, three, four, five colors, and I'm going to go in order. So I'm going to use this one. And then that will be Cranberry Fizz, Garden Party, Lime Ricky, Grass Skirt. And then this is going to be Rock and Red. So our pads are foam. They're very squishy. So when you touch anything to the ink pad, I mean, did you see just a light touch on the pad and how inked my finger is? That is why these pads are so great for so many things, including stamping and direct to paper, because the ink does what it's supposed to. It comes out of the pad easily, right? <laughs> and Laurel says, love taps. Because when you are used to some inks that you have to press really hard on the pad to get them inked, this is just a very light tap, tap. And you get an inked, solid image. Super easy. They work like they're supposed to. Yes. I'm excited. Very excited. Direct to paper. If you've never seen this before, buckle up because this is amazing. You're just going to take your ink pad and swipe it across your cardstock. And just like that, I have rock and red cardstock. Ta da! Yay! This has a little bit of streakiness going on, but no worries. As it dries, that will smooth and even out. Then I'm going to take this piece, just drag it across. And now I have two strips of rock and red cardstock. Super easy. Next up, we're gonna do cranberry fizz. We're gonna do these two pieces. You can see that this is a deeper shade of red. They work, work perfectly together. All right, I feel like I just talked to Blue Streak a mile a minute. What's going on? <laughs> they all love the inks. Um, Keep a water the bottle. The latest color wheels are on our website. 
someone was asking about that if they were updated with the okay. newest inks and yeah. they were. So. We just had an ink release in September. Make sure you keep a paper towel on hand so that you can wipe your fingers down from time to time. You are going to uh, get a little inky. And in my opinion, it's a badge of honor because it shows I had a good time. <laughs> we'll take this one and this one and do garden party. Now, when you're doing things like direct to paper, I want you to keep a couple things in mind. Make sure your surface is clean because you don't want to pick things up with your pad. You don't want to get glitter all over it. You don't want to get solvents or cleaners or any cross contamination with other ink pads uh, because then that may be a detriment to your ink pads. So just keep them fresh and nice. Also use a light hand. If you press too hard or you run your cardstock across the pad like this, roughly it it can tear your ink pad um i have a little tiny one right there probably was a little heavy-handed uh, but it's not affecting or impacting my inking in any way you're also going to want to have ink refills on hand especially if you do techniques like this because as you can see this pad is a little lighter over here that is fine it's still going to work great i don't know if you guys can see terribly well oh there we go it still works great, but if you wanna refresh and as your pad, as the ink is used out of the pad, you're gonna to wanna to re-ink. So just grab your little bottle of ink refill, do a little doodly-doo and refresh that pad. I usually take one of our blocks, make sure it's clean and just gently rub across your pad to distribute the ink. And then you have a fresh pad ready to go. Okay. Magic of TV. Magic of TV. I've previously done these. <laughs> <laughs> Although I think some of these are not in the right order, but it's fine. A couple ways you can adhere these down on your cardstock. You can use liquid glue. One of the benefits is that once you put your piece down, you can move it around if there's liquid glue. If you use tape or um, what's that sticky stuff, sticky paper, then once your strip hits the paper, it's gonna be stuck. And if you put it in the wrong space, you're kind of stuck. So just keep that in mind. Oh, there we go. Then we have garden party can also just go like this. And I'm using the my sweet petunia glue press. This is a new product. We uh, saw it come out. And Jenny and I were like, oh, let's get some of those. Those look, those look nice. And we got a good size order in our shop. And then how long did it take them to sell us out, Jenny? Like two days, a day? Two days. Yeah, about two days. <laughs> so we got, we have more. We have a restock. Um, next is Lime Ricky. And then Grass Skirt. So is anybody using the glue press? And what do you guys think about it? Rock and red. I'm actually not not using these are the these I pulled out of a bag, so they might end up being like too long. So I'll just trim it if that happens. But I see Laurel. What's up? <laughs> she popped in. Oh, you can't hear me. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. While you're doing that, like I like to pop in and scare you every now and then. And That's all. fine. Um, we have some questions here. Okay. Uh, there's so uh, there's a few. Uh, this is a good time to answer them, right? Because you're just mm -hmm. and gluing. What is your? You can't answer this, but what's your favorite ink color? <laughs> That's like picking a favorite child. Child. <laughs> um, there are some that I like for different reasons. One color I really love is melon ice because it's really different. Um, I've never seen an ink color like this on the market. It's what? What? Look at that color. It's 
so great. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> Uh, Jenny, what's your favorite color? Jenny likes different colors than I do. I do. Well, melanized is one of my favorites because I feel like you can use it with almost every other color as little accent colors. It goes really well. I'm more of a spa girl, where mm -hmm. Catherine is a party girl. <laughs> um, Interesting. Yeah. So I like the ginger and mandarin spice. I like the oranges. I like clay mask from that little color line. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's quite pretty. And I like from the, the, the party line in that color family, I like Bellini and apricot, 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 tomato, tomato. Oh, apricot, an orange yeah. peel. Yeah. Orange yes. peel is orange peel. gorgeous. I mean, we really can't pick a You favorite. can't go wrong. Seriously. Whatever colors is your favorite is what you would pick from her line. Yes. That. Um, how do you choose the ink colors to start with? Mm. Oh, great question. Mm -hmm. um, grab, will you grab a paper pack? Yes. <laughs> All right. Here is the base of the card. So we have a fun colored striped background, uh, the red and green in ombre, and we need to put something on top of it. How about cookies and milk? What are you going to okay. do? What are you going to do? You'll see in a sec. Laurel said I can use more than five. Yeah, products. yeah, 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 yeah. Although I can justify that I'm using five. Absolutely. So. <laughs> Absolutely. So here is our cookies in milk patterned paper pack. Uh, at the bottom, it tells you what ink colors are used in the paper. So this one is cotton candy, rouge with an olive, sea glass, on the lake, tranquil, pebble, and slate. So that's a great way to start. If you choose a paper pack that you love or for a specific project you have in mind, and then you grab those specific ink colors um, and then just start building from there. You can also choose party or spa. And then however you like to use your inks, maybe you are big with ombre or maybe you do a lot of multi-step layering. If you do that, you might want to choose the red column and maybe get three ink pads. Maybe choose a green and get three of those, maybe a blue and a yellow. Um, or you can go rainbow and pick a red, an orange, a yellow, a green a blue, a purple. I recommend not skipping the green blues and the blue greens. We love them so much. This actually is one column that we split up into two because we love these colors so much. So these are teals, turquoise, turquoise, aqua. We split them up into colors that lean more green on the green blue and then colors that lean more blue on the blue green. So definitely cannot miss that column. Cummerbund, Aquatini, come on. Catherine has spoken. <laughs> Does that help? Yeah. <laughs> so you can also color with our ink pads. So let's do Midnight Ink. This is an archival ink. It does stain high quality photopolymer. So you can see in the middle here, I have a little boo-boo. That's because I pushed down a little too hard and the stamp sunk into my pad and got ink there. You can keep a cleaner like Nuvo Cleaner or Ultra Clean on hand. And as soon as you finish stamping, so let's do this. Daniel did this on a video on my channel the other day. So stamp and then immediately clean. Let it sit for a minute and it will get a lot of the ink off, but only if it's fresh. If you let it dry and sit, you're kind of stuck. So definitely keep that in mind to protect your stamps and not, because if, if that's a whole, you know, if it's all black, it's hard to see. And then, you know, hmm. there was something else I was gonna say about that. What was it? I don't know. I, don't know. Um, I, can, I can say something. Oh. Just because your ink has black, I mean, I'm not your ink. Like, what do you think about people that struggle with the fact that their stamps are stained? Because usually your black and, and probably the red, I would say, might stain the stamp. Yes. Still works fine. The only time it bothers me is if I'm trying to take a stamp in like this little unicorn horn 
and stamp it on top of the cat's head and then I'm not able to see through my stamp, that kind of poses a problem. But normally staining on my stamps doesn't bother me at all because then I know that, I mean, you pull out your stamps and the ones that are stained and show wear, that means you're using them. And that's a great thing. So it's fine. Um, all reds are going to tint your stamp pretty much. Um, it's just a feature of dye-based inks. It's, it's the nature of the beast. Um, and the, oh, I know, I was talking about archival. So all of our inks are dye inks and they say on the lid what collection it's from so that you know if it's part of your spa. But these are all dye, which means they're water-based, they're washable, um, they are not waterproof. The Midnight is archival, it's waterproof, so you can watercolor. So a couple ways I can watercolor, make sure your block is clean and then take your ink pad and dab it onto your block to make a little color palette. Or you can take your ink refills. This is another great use of those. If you want more concentrated, darker color, just add a little dab there. And then take your blender pen. This is a Tombow blender pen. It's basically a clear marker. You're gonna pick color up and then you're gonna color. So basically now you have an ink color or a marker in every color of ink pad that you have. I'm not gonna finish coloring that at the moment because I wanna show you a couple other things. So dye inks with a blender pen on regular stamping cardstock a lot of times is not your best option for large areas because when you keep putting water or something wet on your cardstock, it will start to pill up. You guys have, have ever had that experience? So if that is causing an issue for you, try watercolor cardstock. So this is a piece of watercolor cardstock. Personally, for my general card making purposes, I'm not picky on what kind of watercolor cardstock I use. I just use whatever whatever I have on hand. We have a few different kinds in the store. Jenny Wave Canson. We have, I don't know. We have a Tim Holtz, for, uh, Tim Holtz version, Canson. I think well, we have one more. Watercolor paper is designed to hold more, more water. So you can go over the same spot multiple times and it's not gonna be a problem. And then you can get really good shading. So usually I just do a layer of color and then I come around in some of the edges and just darken it to give depth. And then usually I'll go in where the artists put their lines and darken that too. This is also where your color wheel is gonna come in handy because I want a color that's darker than rock and red because I'm not getting it as dark in some places as I want it to be. So we'll add cranberry fizz here, pick up some of that color, and then you can see how it really adds more depth. Another um, technique that I've picked up lately that I've been doing a lot is just kind of dabbing. So I'll dab, I'll blend to add that shading in there. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? Adorable. So cute. Then when you wanna switch colors, you're just gonna scribble your blender pen off on scratch paper until it goes clear. And then you can go into whatever color you want, even though just like a stamp, it's gonna get stained. That doesn't mean it's ruined because it's clear. See that? Then, you can also, with Catherine Pooler cardstock, this is CP cardstock, you can use Copic markers. So one of the reasons we chose this cardstock is because of how beautifully it blends when using alcohol markers. So lay your lightest color down. I um, love coloring with my alcohol markers, but I'm a simple colorist. Then you're gonna take the next, let's see, I have two R27 and R29. Then I'm just gonna darken around the edges. Oh, 
and then R29. And that's adorable too. So Copics, inks and blender pens. And this is not done very well because I was just doing it quickly to demonstrate. And then the watercolor cardstock. So do you want to take this cuteness up a couple notches? I think so. <laughs> I think we add some more. Uh, two way glue pen. So Laurel, this doesn't count as a supply. This isn't counting my five. I see what's happening here. <laughs> well, I'm going though. I'm down with it. Okay, so I'm gonna take this and I'm going to add some glue to the fur part of the hat. There are lines from the illustrator in here. I'm gonna to try to not cover them up with the glue. So I'm gonna do the little pom pom. And then does this count as a supply? White Puff Twinkle Wow Embossing Powder. Well, let's keep rolling with it and say no. Okay, this doesn't <laughs> count. So there is White Puff Twinkle, there's White Puff, and there's Sparkling Snow. All three of those would be fantastic for this. My favorite is the White Puff Twinkle, because guess what happens when you heat it? Any guesses? I think it's magic. It's like Harry Potter's up in here. <laughs> So my embossing powder stuck to the image because the I just colored it and it's still slightly damp. That's not a problem. You can just use a paintbrush to remove excess. Oh, this is going to be so cute. Keep cool. And we'll keep this. And then as it embosses, it's white puff twinkles, so that white embossing powder actually puffs up. Oh, I love it. Yes. Who is digging this? Me. <laughs> it's so cute. And then we have the little dies. So just pop that on there. Send it through the die cut machine. Ta da! And then this one is CP ink on CP cardstock. This one is CP ink on watercolor cardstock. I prepped those yesterday so that they were ready to go. And then I want to do the little dog. My goodness. Let's do a brown dog. So I got s'mores. so cute. I want to give you a tip. Do you see his eyeballs? His eye detail filled in and a little bit of the detail on his ears. That's because this is a brand new ink pad. It's a little extra juicy. So if that happens to you, a couple ways to troubleshoot. You can take your ink pad, dab it onto cardstock to remove some of the ink. Don't throw this away because now I have a s'mores piece of cardstock and I can die cut something out of that. I can die cut a word. I can die cut a flower if you want a brown flower or whatever. So that's one way. Another way is to clean your stamp and then very lightly ink it up and lightly press it to the cardstock. Don't push too hard because when you push down hard, your photopolymer stamp is pliable. So it kind of spreads out a little and then it fills in. So you can see how much better the detail was here. So it's a good way to troubleshoot. And ta -da! Ta -da! isn't he so cute? So cute. Let's talk about your acrylic blocks real quick. Cause you have your own. Yes. And they're different than the ones I remember getting before yours because those like cut my hands. Yours do not. Yes. Talk about your awesome blocks. Okay. So um, I were, you know what? I want this hat instead. I want the watercolor paper one. So we worked with a manufacturer for about a year to get the blocks to what my version of a perfect block is. So 
They are lightweight for their size. They have grid lines. And my favorite feature is the bevel fits in your fingers perfectly. I literally did a clay mold of a block and like stuck my fingers in it and sent that over for them to, <laughs> to copy. And then the edges are <clears throat> really rounded. So they're smooth and they're not sharp and, you know. Thus no cutting of the fingers. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So I can do this. Oh, I forgot to pull out. This is on my desk because I do a lot of stamping and die cutting and having little bowls of different images and stuff. So this doesn't count either. But this is from <laughs> this is from I was muted. Sorry. This is from Holiday One Liners, and it's so cute. It has Happy Ho Ho Holiday. You're on my nice list. It has a, a whole bunch of fun little sentiments, and we could do something like that and call it a day and just have a card like that. Or you might want to add more oomph to it. So this is this is kind of a negotiable product because you can <laughs> add this or maybe you don't want to. <laughs> Depends on how many products you want to use. I'm such a rule breaker. Usually I'm it. a rule follower. I love it. So ho, ho, ho. How cute is that? This is a product that came out last year. It has these three little ho, ho, ho's. It reminds me of like a movie marquee with the lights. So fun. I've already die cut these. And then I thought I would um, like color these. So let's do, um, let's do red first. Let's do cream. Uh, let's do rock and red. All right. I'm going to get super inky. They have little holes in them. They're yeah. cute. So cute. I just want to say I don't have that either. <clears throat> You don't have the ho, ho, ho? I do not. Uh -oh. And you could also switch it and make it o, 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 right? Yes. Crazy? Oh. <laughs> All right. If I send the, we'll send this to you and you have to make an O card. Oh. Right. oh. Wait, we have a stamp set that said, look what you did or something like that, don't we? Yeah. Oh, I meant Ooh, to do an O. Look what you did. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Happened right here on the live, people. Right here on the live. <laughs> Okay, so I'm picking this up with my tweezers. I want to make sure to tell you, be really careful when you do that because you don't want to stab your ink pad. Just be gentle, like a little baby. Okay, so Lime Ricky. Those are great colors. Thanks. Happy, you just can't go wrong with happy, not bright colors. I agree. I love that. And little dogs with a Santa hat. I mean, come on. Seriously. Really? This would be cute just to like arrange them on a card like that. I'm so well, Ricky. And then let's use grass skirt. Oh, oh, and ho, ho, as Diane says. Yeah, baby. <laughs> uh, so fun. Okay. And I don't know if she mentioned that or uh, about her blocks, but you are right, Andrea or Andrea. Um, they do have grid lines on them too, so you can line all your stuff up. Just saying. That's right. Yeah. Ho ho ho! Oh oh oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. Why don't I have that? I don't know. I blame you. That's all right. I get blamed for a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Everybody's loving this little glue gun holder thing. Yeah. It, I'm digging it. So in the chat, who already has peeking pets? <gasps> A lot of our CP friends have it. It, yeah, it constantly, it's the top seller. Yeah, it is. And especially all the little doodad accessory sets that you made to go with them and the cats and the. Yeah, because this has the little top hat, the party hat, the graduation cap. What are these? The heart springy mabobs? Antenna. <laughs> and Valentine's <laughs> Day. Unicorn. So cute. Everything. And where's, where's more peeking pets? Where'd it go? You got a little pop it in ball, and show the little guys. Little tennis ball somewhere. A little bow. Yeah, the, the more peeking pets has a couple things. Go. Lots of people are saying they have them. They do. So here's yes. some more peeking pets. We have 
and it has the ball of string and a little mouse and the tennis ball. Oh, the little mouse. <laughs> and all coordinating dies. They all have coordinating die cuts. Yes. Oh, this is looking good. That is looking good. <laughs> I also thought it would be fun to emboss these with the white puff twinkle. Just the H and O's, H's and O's. That would be cute. And then I'm really wanting to pop this up with foam tape. So let's do it. Uh, foam, do let's it, do foam strips. Yes. I have something you can invent. Go, go for it. What is it? Is there any such glue that you can squeeze out of your little glue gun apparatus that will puff up within seconds? And then you have instant puffy instant. glue. We need a scientist. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> than me. But, Do we have oh, like some we all love snow that. stuff? That would be yeah. such an invention. Snow paste. We have. I thought we had a, a squeeze bottle that had some kind of snow oh, stuff in it. I don't remember. I'm drawing a blank on what it's called, but we do have some snow. Oh, well, there you go, guys. There's someone some... is saying they need a basset hound. Another. <gasps> oh. We could. We could go endlessly making yes that, that's, that's okay so i added another layer to the end here because it's going to be partly on the ho-ho and partly off so i want it to lay flat and then we'll stick our little guy on oh my goodness so cute someone wants to know if the glue gun will work with nuvo drops but the nuvo drops are smaller so I did see a video she did, and she had other bottles in here, mm -hmm. though it's made in this shape. But I saw on the My Sweet Petunia website a video where she had other bottles in here, but I can't say for sure. And she gives you a second bottle. Oh, well, that's that's, nice. that's empty. So you can put any glue in there. And then the lid has the pin in it. Yeah, it's the really clogged tips is what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, and then it has a little stand. Okay, oh, here's your sweet petunia. Here, here's a commercial for my sweet petunia. <laughs> um, we'll record this first. <laughs> and then this this is squishy. So then when you put this in the holder, the pin or the nozzle lays against that squishy bit, and then air can't get in there. So then it doesn't clog up. If that worked for barely art glue, which is my favorite glue, I'd be into it. Well, you oh, have the empty bottle. You could put your barely arts in the empty bottle and you I can... could, Jenny. You're right. <laughs> Jane can cute this card is, you guys. I need sequins. Of course you do. Do do you see um like Crater Lake or because we're not following the five supplies, so she can add sequins. Well, I see. Oh, here they are. I saw. Didn't you say something about the um, stuff like glue doesn't count? Glue doesn't count. That is absolutely correct. That I don't think sequence counts either because you guys already have these in your stash. And if you don't, we have like a hundred pro probably mixes on our site. And she's going to give you a nice tutorial of the proper way to put sequins down. Because then isn't it like you do a visual triangle and all that stuff? Yeah, I do. Yes. This is why I never use sequins because I, I guess I can't visualize triangle. Well, I always do two, two on one side and one on the other, or mm -hmm. three and two. So I either use three sequins or five. So odd numbers. Yes. And you even and have you... one tucked up under that hat a little bit. Oh, I love the tuck. Oh, I always you're tuck. tuck girl. I always tuck a sequin under an image that's popped up. I just think that's so cute. That's so cute. I can't believe you did all that shading on that hat. Yeah. Well, you saw how easy it was. It really, really isn't that hard. It's just adding a little bit of extra darker ink in the a couple little key spots around the edges and around the lines that the artist made. That's amazing. So, bada boom. And that little puff on the hat. Hi. You're cute. So cute. I have the puff. Oh my gosh. I had so much fun making this car, you guys. That was so great. We're going to switch to your face now. So don't be doing anything, you know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to get rid of that. I don't, I sure don't need to be there. I don't need to be here at all.
Am I just saying goodbye now? Okay, there I am. I'm going to add your desk back because the second I take your desk away, you, you're, I can't hear you. Oh, okay. <laughs> so oh, we're gonna leave. That's, that's yeah, so you started talking. I'm like, yeah, I didn't hear that. Okay, so does anyone have any questions for her before I allow her to go to lunch? And then the NC State football game is tonight. And then she does that. That would put me to sleep. I don't even know what you just said. You well, my baby girl's dancing, so she's down oh, on well, the football. Too. You don't really love the football. You love the baby girl. I kind of am starting to like football a little bit. It is very fun to go to games. And then Eva's down there on the field, and that's pretty well, that's, exciting. Yeah, I fall yeah. asleep. It's like, beep, flag, this flag, this flag. So I can't ever watch it. <laughs> oh. Maureen wants to know if you will adopt her. Um, I'm, I'm first up in line, but she can't adopt me because we're the same age. So I guess that won't work. Um, is there a chihuahua? Chihuahua. Chihuahua? Mm. No, no. I so I'm that. terrible with, with breeds of dogs. This, I'm going to pull. I'm gonna, this I don't, one, right? Is it? I think this I'm one. Gonna, I'm going to switch to your desk view. This everyone. one is like the, the Taco Bell guy. That's a French bulldog. Oh, well, then, no, what's this one? Oh, wait, that's a French bulldog. And then that's a little Taco Bell. Yeah, we're going to go with that. Right? I like that. Yeah, we're going with that. Okay. <laughs> you could do endless dogs, that's for sure. Let's see. My chow's named is Posey because she poses all the time. She would make a great subject. Where do I find the glue gun? Now, did you say you have more coming in stock? Oh, they're in stock. Oh, they're there. They're in yep. stock. They're in stock, so, everyone. Yep. Go to shop.catherinepuller.com. Use the links that Laurel gives you. And then uh, there's a search bar. So um, let me throw it up there. They can just type in glue or glue gun and it'll pop up. Mm -hmm. Now, listen, if you happen to be a ultimate card making bundle holder, there's a coupon code for you. That's all I'm going to say about that. But she's got it. Now I won't wait too long because I guess it's going to go out of stock. You guys are yeah. craving for this glue gun. How many do we have? Do you know? I don't know. We have a decent number. Okay. Yeah. Our restock came mm -hmm. recently. We have a decent number. Okay. Oh, there you go. Oh, mm -hmm. someone wants to know, have a techie question. <laughs> what camera holder do you use? <laughs> uh, it's Archon. Oh, you have the Archon arm mount thing. Yes. It's called, I'll type that, Archon, Ar Ar Archon Arm, mm -hmm. something like that. I had that for the longest time. Oh, you can kind of see it in the, yeah, yeah there see? we go. That's it. Ooh, we got a little peek peek. I remember one time I asked somebody about their setup. It might have been Justine. This was years ago. And she literally had this whole situated thing duct taped. I mean, it was insane what she did to film because she films. She used to film all over the place. Nice. Anything for those without VIP, unfortunately, no. That's a perk of being a bundle holder that Catherine offers to all bundle holders is a discount code. Yep. Um, if you run out, wait, oh, okay. Coupon code, coupon code. If you have any issues, just email info at stressfreecardmaking.com. Mm -hmm. We've got a couple people saying the coupon code is not working, but it is, should be. Um, Jenny's in charge of them. So. I did. If and Jenny's fault. Been using it, so. It has been used today. That's what so I thought. So double check it. Either maybe typing it wrong or because there's no minimum on it. So log in to the shop. I don't think they even have to log in, but if they you're, don't the, yeah, you'll get the code the, on the classroom, on our classroom, if you're mm -hmm. a VIP member, and then you'll add the code on the shop. I'm assuming it's a typical thing, typical way of, yes. of do, handling a yep. promotion. Yep. Someone wants to know when your next release will be. In a few weeks. Do you want to give us a little, a little hint or something? Well, Laurel has been begging for me to send her some things. I did it right before she went live, so she couldn't <laughs> tell me no. And then I heard I hurry up and hit live, so she couldn't yell at me. Um, I'm gonna do it again after. You texted me the other day. I texted you today during the live. I think you. Oh, you texted me during the live. You'll see you that in an Instagram message. <laughs> I mean, we better get a package in the mail. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll give you maybe an hour for lunch because I like Jenny. Maybe. And then I'll start texting again. <laughs> so this I don't ship, so I can't do anything about it. I know. It. I, I can just, she can delegate. Catherine delegates for me. 
Well, so yeah, this is where you go cool. if you're a VIP. Hold, no, I don't say that. If you're a ultimate card making bundle, you go to the classroom. You'll get the code there, and then you'll go to Catherine's shop. She just said there's no limit on what you can buy. I didn't know that, so that's nice. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> well, that's nice. Y'all can buy me something. I'm here. No, I'm kidding. All right, any other questions before we let her go? Alice says she couldn't find glue gun. Glue. So it's also under tools. Under tools. I'm going to find it real quick. Or if you click new and scroll down a bit, it's probably on the new yeah. page. It's also called the precision glue something. Uh, glue press. Glue press. Glue press. Glue. Also, yes, our search bar is particular right, like sure. if you put in gl glue press and it's a glue tool it won't show it to you so there's like, a technical term but it came up just by typing in glue press just so you know okay. Okay. Probably you just type glue. glue press by my sweet petunia so just put in glue press in the search mm -hmm. bar and also you'll see the glue pen that she used during the live as well yep. both of those things will come up for you yeah and you can also email the info or support at katherinepuller.com if you're having trouble finding things. Look at that finger again. Go ahead and put that up one more time. Go ahead. <laughs> what? What I do? Put your finger. There. <laughs> look at it. It's, look at your finger. You squiggled. What's happening to my finger? Oh, just look at your finger. Physically hold up the finger and look at it. Oh, uh, that it's red? <laughs> <laughs> Matches my shirt. <laughs> it matches your lipstick. <laughs> Will there be a lot of list of all the products that Catherine used in this video? You know what? I'll do that for you. I will put together all of the stuff you used today. Okay. For you guys. Great. There's no Canadian site. You're just shop.catherinepuller.com. Yep. What says out of stock? What says out of stock? Um, Maureen, what? No, wait. Who said that? Wendy. Delina, I don't. Is there a refill for Memento? We don't carry a refill. I don't know that I've seen one. That we I've never had. seen. Kelly, huh? Wolfpack Red. That's right. No, see, I didn't want to know so I got to change my clothes. <laughs> Go put on white because that would be awesome. You'll have little dots all over your shirt. It's blackout, so I got to wear black. Uh huh. Oh. Wait, All right. Well, I'm not sure what that about is. The glue press. I'll go take a look at it as soon as we're done she here. She found it. Oh, okay. Oh, good. This is fun. Thanks, you Laurel. Can put your yes, this was fun. And everyone who's on here with us, thanks for spending a little bit of time with us today. It's yes, great. Thank you so much. I love it. I love my CP family. We love you. I have to come visit soon. Yes, please. I will. It's on my calendar. Good. Do you have a date on the calendar? Of course I do. You don't know when I'm coming to visit you? No. When is it? <laughs> we know. What's the date? Hey, once I get my order processed, I'll let you know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. Let's let them go. Thank you so much for gracing us with your presence. You're I welcome. She did a rock star. She basically did a class for you all. Yeah. Perfect. Hope you learned some things. Yeah, you shared a lot of stuff. Her inks, she showed you, she's got all these different papers. You can, you can use Copic, which you can't do that with a lot of inks, quite frankly. It smears all over the place. So she showed you a lot of things today, more so than I thought she was going to do. She oh, good. I love, good. It. I love it. All right. We're going to let her go. Thank you. Next up on the schedule is at 1.30-ish, something like that. 1.30. We're going to roll with that. And uh, that's it. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. Thank you. Have Bye. a great day. Bye.